President, my very dear colleagues, this is uh, the report from the Committee on Local and Foreign Debt in respect of the request for approval of personal loan to finance federal government of Nigeria proposed revised 2020 budget deficit. Introduction. The Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria at this sitting of Thursday, 28 May 2020, read a communication dated 19 May 2020 from the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, requesting for approval of the Senate for external borrowing for the following purposes. A, to finance federal government proposed revised 2020 budget deficit, which is 5 billion, 513,000 dollars. $513 million. B, to finance priority projects of the federal government to address the impact of COVID-19 pandemic and to improve Nigeria's food security, which is $1 billion, $248 million, and $995 million. Euro. C, to finance state government facing fiscal challenges arising from the COVID-19 pandemic. Two, the communication together mm -hmm. with the analysis attached thereto was referred to the Committee on Local and Foreign Debt for further legislative action. Mm -hmm. Three, the request of Mr. President is in compliance with the provision of the Debt Management Office Establishment Act 2003 DMO and the Fiscal Responsibility Act of 2007, which both enjoy the federal government to seek and obtain the approval of the National Assembly before obtaining external laws on behalf of the Federation and states to mandate. The request was referred to the Committee on Local and Foreign Debt for further legislative action with the mandate to report back to the Senate at plenary with appropriate recommendations for consideration and approval. Three, methodology. The committee invited and interacted with the following ministry departments and agency of government, Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning, the Debt Management Office, Budget Office of the Federation, and obtain written submission as well as presentations. Two, the district committee members were briefed during the interactive question and answer section, and the matter was extensively deliberated upon thereafter by the committee members, our findings and observations. One, the committee knows that the revenue projection contained in the Appropriation Act of 2020 has been adversely impacted by, by revenue shortfall due to the global COVID-19 pandemic. Two, the committee observed that it has led to drilling government revenue from oil sales as well as a sharp drop in global oil prices to below $20 at some points. Three, the committee knows that the pandemic has led to the need for emergency health expenditure and palliative in order to contain the pandemic, mitigate its effect on citizens, and also to prepare for a post-pandemic era. Four, the committee knows that as a consequence, the federal government found it expedient to seek for amendment to the Appropriation Act of 2020, as well as review the 2020 to 2022 medium term expenditure framework, MTEP. Five, the committee knows that it is in this regard that the Appropriation Act Amendment Bill 2020, together with the revised medium term expenditure framework, is before the Senate for, for consideration and passage. Six, the committee knows that the Appropriation Act Amendment B 2020 contains a revised total budget of 10.594 trillion with a deficit, with a deficit of 4.563 trillion, which will be part financed 
by, by proposed domestic borrowing of 2.188 trillion and external borrowing of 1.984 trillion. Six, seven. The committee knows that the first component of the request of Mr. President is to seek the approval of the Senate to embark on the external borrowing of the sum of 5 billion, 513 million to ensure the financing of the reverse 2020 deficit. Eight, the committee knows that this budget deficit re request of Mr. President is aimed at bridging the revenue shortfall for the 2020 fiscal year and to assess immediate funds required to deal, to deal expeditiously and decisively with the ravaging impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Nine, the committee observed that the approval will immediately provide the much needed liquidity in order to finance deficit that will be approved in the Reverse Appropriation Amendment Act of 2020 and enable government to implement and pursue some key priority activities towards containment of the COVID-19 pandemic. 10. In view of the above, the committee, based on clarification and information provided by the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, decided to accelerate the consideration for approval the sum of five billion, five hundred and thirteen million, being first component of the, of the request in respect of the funding of the, of the budget deficit proposed for 2020 fiscal year. Level. The committee, in agreement with the attendee MDAs, concluded that in the present circumstances of absence of required details, it, it will resume and conclude the consideration of other assigned components of Mr. President's external borrowing request related to the funding of priority projects of the federal government to be captured in the budget estimate for 2021 and facilitate to support state government to face the challenges of COVID-19 pandemic. Twelve, the committee knows that the request for funding the external borrowing component of proposed 2020 fiscal year deficits is as follows. The table is there. One, International Monetary Fund, IMF. What we are taking from them is uh, three billion four hundred million dollars to for to for, to rapid for the for rapid financing instrument to finance FGN 2020 exposed proposed reverse budget deficit. While the table is there, you can quickly you can also follow me. Then uh, 13. The committee observed that the financing is being sourced from multilateral and bilateral global donor lenders and partners with proven track record of previous financial accommodation and support to federal government. 14. The committee knows that as regards the IMF loan, there are no, use, there are no user uh, unruns conditions for borrowing, such as currency devaluation and the regulation of certain sectors of the economy attached to this loan. 15. The committee knows that the borrowing are largely concessional loans with low interest rates and very long moratorium and payback period. 16. The committee also knows that the borrowing will not take our public debt stock outside the self-imposed ratio ceiling of 25% of debt to, GDP, to gross domestic product, while the recommended percentage by the World Bank and IMF for our country peer group still remain at the far away 55%. 12. 17. The committee most importantly knows that the indicated terms and conditions under which the loan we borrowed do not in any way compromise the sustainability of the Nigeria economy or impute, in the, in the, or impute the integrity and independence of Nigeria as a sovereign nation. 18. The committee finally knows that the loan is in, is in, the, in the limited interest of the Nigeria state and its citizens in dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic in a way that the economy will position for quick recovery. Resolutions. The committee therefore resolved as follows. One, that the Senate do approve the external borrowing of the sum of 5 billion, 
513 million from the, from the following multilateral and bilateral institutions. The table is there, and all the conditions are there. If the, if uh, the Senate President permits me, I can go through it. Okay. Go ahead. Well, in that table, you will find out the details, the interest rates, gross, uh, the grace period, and the tenor. So they are, well, they are well specified there. You can go through. Then, two, that the terms and conditions of the loans from each lender as are uh, contained in the duly executed loan agreement be forwarded to the National Assembly for proper documentation. Conclusion, the committee wishes to sincerely express appreciation to the leadership and our distinct members for the opportunity extended to us to serve in this capacity. Thank you very much. I so and thank you very much.